Are you looking for a video on how to solve word problems involving multiplication of fractions? Then this video is right for you. So, without much further ado, let's begin. Hi, my name is Roel G. Carpio, a math teacher and a coach, and I do math tutorial in my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to present to you how to solve word problems involving multiplication of fractions using blocks. So how do we solve word problems involving multiplication of fractions using blocks? The block model approach, widely known as the Singapore Math, was introduced in 1983 by Dr. Ko Teck Hong and his team of educators from Singapore Ministry of Education. It uses strips, bars, or rectangular regions called models to visualize the concepts. So let us have examples. We have here sample problem number one. In a class of 49 pupils, three sevens are members of the math organization. How many pupils are members of the math organization? So first, we have to identify what is asked in the problem. So based on the problem, we have to identify the number of pupils who are members of the math organization. And then we are going to identify the given facts. So we have here 49 pupils and 3 sevenths of them are members of the math organization. So we have also to identify what are the operation clues. So we have here oh, So meaning to say we have to multiply to get the number of pupils who are members of the math organization. So 3 sevenths times 49 is equal to n. And this n will give us the number of pupils who are are members of the math organization. Now, for us to solve this equation, we have to represent first the given into rectangular blocks. So, we have to draw seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So, assuming that we have similar blocks, and these seven blocks represent the 49 pupils. Now, three sevens of these blocks are members. So, these are the members of the math organization. Now, for us to find how many pupils are members of the math organization, we have to identify first how many pupils does each block represent. So, for us to identify, we have to divide 49 by 7 since the total is 49 and there are 7 blocks. So, 49 divided by 7 will give us 7. So, in other words, each block represents 7 pupils. So, since only 3 blocks are members of the math organization, so in other words, to get this number of pupils who are members of the math organization, we have to multiply 3 times 7 to give us 21. So, in other words, there are 21 pupils out of 49 who are members of the math organization. So let us have sample problem number two. We have here, there are 36 pens. Five nines of the pens are black and the rest are blue. How many pens are blue? So first, we have to identify what is asked in the problem. So based on the problem, we are going to identify the number of blue pens. And then what are the given facts? So we have 36 pens and five nines of them are Black. So, what are the operation clues? So, we have here, off, and we have also rest. So, for us to solve the given problem, we have to represent the problem first into blocks. So, we have five nines, so we are going to draw nine boxes. So, assuming that we have similar sizes for our blocks. Now, these nine blocks represent the 36 pens. Now, 5 nines, so 5 blocks are blocks. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, you have block pens. So, in other words, the remaining blocks are the blue pens. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, for us to identify 
the number of blue pens, we have to identify first how many pens does each block represent. So we have to divide 36 by 9 to give us 4. So meaning to say that each block represents 4 pens. These 4 blocks represent the blue pens and each block has 4 pens. So to get the number of blue pens, we have to multiply 4 times 4 to give us 16. So in other words, there are 16 blue pens. So let us have sample problem number 3. We have here, Mang Tanor sold a number of kilograms of lansones. He sold two pips of the lansones in the morning and the rest in the afternoon. If he sold 9 kilograms in the afternoon, how many kilograms of lansones did he sell the full day? So first is for us to identify what is asked in the problem. So based on the problem, we have to identify the total number of kilograms of lansones that Mangkan or sold for the whole day. And then what are the given facts? So we have here 9 kilograms. We have also here 2 pips. First is for us to represent the given problem in 2 blocks. And we are going to draw 5 blocks. So this represents the total number of kilograms of lansones that Mang Kan or sold. We know that two pips of the lansones or the two blocks sold in the morning. The rest of the blocks represent the number of kilograms of lansones that were sold in the afternoon. So since he sold 9 kilograms in the afternoon, so meaning to say that these three blocks here represent the 9 kilograms. So since we have three blocks and represent the 9 kilograms, so meaning to say per box is equivalent to 9 divided by 3 to give us 3. So meaning to say that each block represents 3 kilograms. So to get the total number of kilograms that were sold for the full day, we have to multiply 5 blocks times 3 kilograms per block to give us 15 kilograms. So in other words, Mang Kanor sold a total of 15 kilograms of lansones the whole day. Now let's proceed to sample problem number 4. Daniel has some marbles. He gave 3 eighths of his marbles to Eman. He gave one third of what was left to Chester. If he had 10 marbles left, how many marbles did he have at first? So first is for us to identify what is asked in the problem. So according to the problem, we have to identify the number of marbles that Daniel had at first. So what are the given facts? So we have here 3 eighths. We have also 1 third. And we have also 10 marbles left. Then next, we are going to identify also our operation clues. We have off and left. For us to solve the given problem, we have to represent first the problem into blocks. So first, we have to draw 8 blocks. So this represents the total number of marbles that Daniel had at first. And then 3 eighths of these marbles, he gave this to Eman. And then, one-third of what was left, so meaning to say, one-third of this, he gave this to Chester. So, first is for us to draw three blocks. So, one-third, so meaning to say, this block is the number of marbles that he gave to Chester. Meaning to say, what was left to him was two blocks which is equivalent to 10 marbles. So, these two blocks are equivalent to 10 marbles. So, in other words, each block is equivalent to 5 marbles. So, in other words, these three blocks represent 15 marbles. So, since these three blocks are equivalent to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 smaller blocks, so meaning to say that this is also equivalent to 15 marbles. So, each smaller block is equivalent to 3 marbles. To get the number of marbles that Daniel had at first, we have to multiply 8 blocks times 3 marbles per block to give us 24 
marbles. So in other words, Daniel had 24 marbles at first. So there you have it, how to solve word problems involving multiplication of fractions using blocks. So I hope that you have learned and enjoyed watching this video. See you again in my next video. Thank you.